You're listening to Civic Media. Stay up to date on the latest news and information for your local community and Wisconsin by signing up for our free email newsletter. Visit civicmedia.us slash email to get started. This is your WISS Daily News Roundup for Oshkosh Air Support, 98.3 FM and 1100 AM. This is Civic Media News. I'm Savannah Tomei Olson. Cases of whooping cough are 10 times higher across Wisconsin right now than this time last year, according to the Wisconsin Department of Health Services. More than 600 cases have been reported to officials. In all of last year, there were only about 50 Two-thirds of Wisconsin counties have had at least one person who got sick from the infection. Kids ages 11 to 18 account for about half of all cases. Minors should be up-to-date on their vaccines, especially young kids and babies, and adults should get an updated Tdap shot every 10 years. We know broadband access is an issue for many Wisconsinites, especially in rural areas. A new report gives the state a C-minus in broadband connectivity. The American Society of Civil Engineers put out report cards for each state. Their grade means Wisconsin is meeting most needs right now, but requires expansion to meet needs of the future. Wisconsin ranks 38th in the nation for broadband access. Democratic nominee for president Kamala Harris is holding a rally in Madison tonight. Both campaigns have been leaving their footprints across Wisconsin as one of the most crucial states in the election. Back in July, Donald Trump had a six percentage point lead against Joe Biden among voters over 18 here in the Badger State. Fast forward. After Biden left the race, Harris became the nominee and they've had one debate. In that same poll, Harris now leads Trump by a single point among Wisconsin voters. Pollster Bob Ward on how independents are key. The movement among independents, where Trump was ahead uh, of Biden by five points two months ago, and now Harris is ahead by 11 points. Meanwhile, when it comes to Wisconsin voters over 50, Trump is ahead by two points. But there are some gender trends, too. Trump maintains more support among male voters around the state, while Harris is strongly backed by women in this latest poll. Election officials are asking the Wisconsin Supreme Court to decide whether Robert F. Kennedy's name should be taken off the ballot. Kennedy is now a member of Donald Trump's transition team. He's trying to make it easier for his supporters to vote for Trump. He's been fighting that battle in court here in Wisconsin, where previous judges have told him under state law the only way off the ballot is to die. The case is currently in the Second District Court of Appeals, but the Wisconsin Elections Commission wants the liberal majority state Supreme Court to take the case. And while the National Teamsters Union declined to endorse a presidential candidate, Wisconsin's did anyway. The National Union represents more than 1.3 million members and has endorsed a Democratic candidate in every presidential election since 2000. The Wisconsin chapter of the Teamsters unanimously voted to endorse Vice President Kamala Harris and Governor Tim Walz. They joined Teamsters unions in Michigan, Nevada, and Pennsylvania, who have done the same. Now, here's what you need to know closer to home. For WISS News, I'm Lisa Hale. Christine Ann Domestic Abuse Services is moving across the parking lot from its current location to the Beach Building on Algoma in Oshkosh. The open house showing off the new emergency shelter and transitional housing was held Thursday. We really only had to do very minor renovations with this building, and it was just on the first floor and to create a play area outdoors. Alicia Wagner, executive director with Christine Ann, said clients and staff will be moving into the new facility on October 8th. A chemistry experiment caused New Holstein High School building to evacuate Thursday. Fire crews were sent to the school at about 10.30 for a report of light smoke in the hallway. Firefighters determined the smoke likely came from a chemistry experiment performed under a vent hood. Students and staff resumed classes after the smoke cleared. No one was hurt. An incident at the Fox River Valley ethanol plant in Utica brought hazmat teams from Utica and Oshkosh Fire Departments Thursday morning. Crews at the scene found an ammonia pipe had been cut, causing a significant leak. Personnel were evacuated as the hazmat team patched the leak. After extensive air monitoring and ventilation, the plant was considered safe and was turned over to the maintenance staff to work on a more permanent solution. No injuries were reported. The Oshkosh Police Department is working to identify individuals who damaged property at South Park. The restroom walls, floors, and fixtures were covered in graffiti. Police say the suspects were recorded on video surveillance. And they said in a press release, quote, We strongly urge parents to remind children to be respectful of property and that repairs to fix damaged items can be very costly. 
They estimate it will cost several thousand dollars to repair the damage at South Park. A social media post is inviting people to a virtual candlelight vigil for Elijah Vu this evening from 6 until 10 p.m., exactly one week after Two Rivers Police confirmed the remains of the three-year-old had been found. The post encourages people to light a candle or turn on a blue light to remember the toddler. A new AARP Wisconsin election poll is showing gender and education gaps in the U.S. Senate race. Jeff List is a pollster and partner at Impact Research. 77% of voters over 50 say that Social Security is either extremely or very important to them. This same poll finds 48% of likely voters backing Vice President Kamala Harris, 45% supporting former President Donald Trump, and Robert F. Kennedy Jr., who remains on the ballot after dropping out of the race, at 2%. Yes, there's a Captain Todd Christie and a Detective Sergeant Brian Hammond at the Winnebago County Sheriff's Department. But no, they are not calling people and leaving messages about, quote, very important legal matters. The Sheriff's Office took to their Facebook page this week warning residents not to fall for scammers who call pretending to be law enforcement. While they may have occasion to phone, they will never ask for money, gift cards, or Bitcoin to settle legal matters. And that's what you need to know. I'm Lisa Hale, WISS News. Jordan Love might be ready to play this week. Hi, I'm Jimmy Cusco with Sports, filling in for Mike Clemens. It seems all anyone can focus on is the quarterback situation in Green Bay. Jordan Love was hurt in the season opener, but he might be available to play this Sunday. Love said he's feeling better. He's definitely feeling a lot better. Um, a lot better for when you know, the injury happened um, in Brazil. So, you know, the whole thing is, like we said before, just taking it day by day. Um, trying to see you know, how it feels every day and uh, coming here, keep doing the treatment, keep doing the rehab and... Uh, you know, was out there today and uh, just trying to take it day by day and, and just keep filling it out, but it's feeling better. Love said he had a lot of thoughts when the injury happened. You know, when it happened, it was very painful. I was telling people, it's the most pain I've been in on the field. So, you know, just a, a lot of emotions, but definitely very painful. And, uh, you know, didn't know in the moment what, what might have happened, you know, what the injury actually was, how long I might be out. So it was definitely a, a scary moment. If Love can't go, Malik Willis will get his second start. His former team, the Tennessee Titans, hosts the Packers Sunday at noon. The NL Central champion Milwaukee Brewers lost Thursday 5-1 to to the Arizona Diamondbacks. The loss puts the Brewers three games back of the National League's best record. Same two teams tonight in Milwaukee. Wisconsin basketball, both men's and women's, announced their conference schedules on Thursday. You can see them at uwbadgers.com. Filling in for Mike Clemens, I'm Jimmy Cusco with Civic Media Sports. On your entertainment beat, I'm Pete Schwaba. Headed to the cinema this weekend? The horror trend continues as Never Let Go, starring Halle Berry, hits theaters. The story follows a family who has been haunted for years until one of the kids starts to question things. Never Let Go is reviewing well at 74% on Rotten Tomatoes. And Optimus Prime and Megatron are back on the screen in animated form and have an 89% on RT in Transformers 1, which opens this weekend and shows what the sworn enemy's relationship was like before they changed the course of Cybertron. I didn't understand a lot of those words either. And if you're in a bigger city, there are a couple films in limited release that reviewed fairly well. Wolves, an action comedy starring Brad Pitt and George Clooney, just premiered at the Venice Film Festival, and it's getting a 68% on Rotten Tomatoes. Superman, the Christopher Reeve story, is also in limited release. It's a documentary of a fascinating life and pulls a 100% on Rotten Tomatoes. Let's go to the movies. Ben Affleck and Jennifer Lopez either like toying with their fans or have serious personality disorders. Yahoo recently reported that fans were devastated by the couple's breakup. That's right, people who have never met them are devastated and not focusing on the shortcomings in their own lives. Now some sources say the couple is reigniting the romance. Luckily, most people still couldn't care less. If you take a shot at Taylor Swift and her boyfriend, you might just be chased into Twitter or ex-oblivion. Just as country singer Zach Bryan, the singer has apparently been listening to a lot of Kanye recently and decided to take a shot at his son time rival Swift. Brian insinuated the Eagles were better than the Chiefs, taking a shot at Travis Kelsey, and that Kanye was better than Taylor, and then asked the ex-Twitter world, who's with me? But Swift fans move fast. They came out in force to defend their girl, forcing Zach Bryan to deactivate his account. Really? Street cred obliviated by the Swift army. What would Kanye say to that? Looking for a new show to binge that will make you laugh heading into the weekend? Here are some Emmy winners worth taking a look at. Hacks took home Best Comedy and brought Gene Smart the Emmy for Best Actress and Best Comedy Writing. All three seasons are available on Max. If it's a drama you want, Shogun won 18 Emmys, including Best Actor, Actress, and Best Drama. There is a season two in the works. Happy viewing. 
Lady Gaga is having a very good year. The singer-actress plays opposite Joaquin Phoenix in Joker Folie Odu. She had a chart topper with Bruno Mars and has a studio album coming out in October. She recently appeared on the podcast What's Next? The Future with Bill Gates and addressed rumors that people said she was a man early in her career. Gaga said when dealing with misinformation, her attitude is, I'm used to it, I'm a performer, and I think it's kind of funny. For more showbiz fun, tune in to Nightlight with me, Peach Waba. Weeknights from 6 to 8 p.m. on the Civic Media Radio Network. With your forecast, I'm Corey Hartman. For today, mostly sunny, highs near 82. For tonight, mostly clear, a low around 58. Sunny in mid-80s on Saturday. 62 with a chance of showers and storms Saturday night. For Sunday, showers and a high of 71. 69 on Monday. Currently 66 degrees. That's your WISS Daily News Roundup from Civic Media. Subscribe to this podcast on Spotify, Apple, or wherever you find your podcasts. Find more news at WISS.FM. The national news cycle never stops, but it can be hard to find news about your local community. Civic Media is dedicated to providing quality local and state news coverage across Wisconsin. With the Civic Media app, you can get notifications about local stories that matter to you and your community. Find the free Civic Media app in your phone's app store and choose notifications from the menu to tell us what kind of news you want to hear about. 